You want to go home for Christmas. I want to go home for Christmas. So, road trip. This is like a Christmas miracle. The keyboard is all the way in London. He can't be here till tomorrow night. You gotta do it. I just can't help but wonder if all of this is a sign. It's the best time to open your heart. Well, that's an exclusive look at the new holiday movie, The Road Home for Christmas. Our partners at People are co-producing this lifetime holiday movie. Two rival musicians played by Marla Sokoloff and Rob Mays are in for a true holiday adventure, especially meeting and performing with Marie Osmond along the way. The Road Home for Christmas is now showing on Lifetime. Well, while we're talking holidays, Christmas Jars is a movie inspired by true life events. I chatted with star Jenny Ross and New York Times bestselling author Jason Wright, whose family tradition first became a book and now a movie. Now, Jason, I have to ask, do you have a personal story with Christmas Jars or how did this whole idea come about? This came about uh, in mid-October of 2004 when I was sitting in my living room after the kids were in bed talking to my wife about the holidays and the fact that I was feeling a little blue and just kind of depressed. I know a lot of people watching right now maybe can relate to some of those holiday blues. And uh, to make a very long story short, by the end of the night when we went to bed, we'd come up with an idea where we would take a jar, which my wife did that very first night, put it on our kitchen counter, and every single day I would take all that loose change that I'd get when I went to 7-Eleven for my Slurpee and my Slim Jim. Mm. I'd come home and I would drop my change in the jar and then the kids would do it when they came home from school with their leftover ice cream money. And we just decided we would put all of our loose change into this jar between that night in mid-October and Christmas Eve. And then we would just find someone to give the jar away to anonymously. Wow. We did that and it changed my life forever. Wow, and you know, for both of you guys, how is this a story of hope, especially around the holidays? Oh, don't we need stories like this now, mm -hmm. I think, Truly. more than yeah. ever. I mean, the story could have been written and placed any time of year, but this is a time when people need to be putting aside political differences and all the things that seem to kind of drive us apart. Let's see what unites us. And what unites us is that we're all in this together and we all have needs and we need to be a little bit more aware through our peripheral vision of who's around us and how we can bless their lives. That's the message of Christmas Jars. And I think when people see the film adaptation November 4th, they're going to be really, really pleased mm. that actress Jenny Ross brings all of this to life. People will want to start a Christmas jar in part because of her performance in the <laughs> film. <you. laughs> wow. And Jenny, was there any special moment of hope when you were filming this where you were like, it's my goal that people will really make a difference like in their communities this holiday season? Gosh, that's a great question. Well, what was really special for me was getting to sit down with Jason and his family early on in shooting and talk about the book because I wasn't actually very familiar with the movement behind it mm -hmm. and getting to hear about all the people that it's genuinely impacted and how important this story is to them in their everyday life has been amazing because this book was around a lot longer than, <laughs> than I was a part of the story. <laughs> that I was an adult, like it's yeah. been years and years. So. She was a toddler when the book mm. came out. Yeah. yeah, so getting to be a part of something like this uh, at any point along was, it was really special for me. One last question, Jason. Did you want to inspire kindness from this story or what was the overall goal? The goal was that the book came out and one family, just, just one family watching right now, read the book and said, you know what, I want to do this. I want to go put a jar on my counter and give it away anonymously and see if I can change that person's world. And if that had been the only thing that resulted from that discussion back in 2004 with my wife, then it would have been worth it. Wow. Who knew that a million people would have read the book and thousands and thousands of jars around the country are on counters right now, including probably people watching right now, have a counter ready to give away in a, in a few weeks of Christmas. And it's just, it's more than a book. It's more than a movie, November 4th. It's a movement and we want people watching right now to join that movement. Well, there's some inspiration to start a Christmas jar right there. So the movie Christmas Jars is in theaters on November 4th.